even though there is more to explore, I believe we are nearing the end at the moment. Arthur is strangely silent. My god, Renaissance power tools. Da Vinci was the 15th century Bob Vila. I have no idea who that is. He's invented the table saw? Now this is stretching my suspension of disbelief. And crying to get the flywheel up to speed, and in minutes you have an attractive new den. I'm sure we will find out just what this is for eventually. Now this looks quite familiar. Wasn't this the design for the tank? Arthur, again, is very silent. I would have thought in an area full of inventions, Arthur would have, would have had something to say. Okay, so we have two parts to this. Typical. You can't read the instructions just like those Japanese model kits. We can't really read it, but it looks fairly obvious. One bit goes here, one bit goes on here, and we need to find some wooden sticks. And we also need to find the apparatus this fits on as well. Oh, that's quite convenient. And correct me if I'm wrong, that is extremely convenient. According to the plans, we first have to put the three assemblies together, then hammer the pegs in to hold... Hammer... The pegs in... Uh, we do have pegs and a hammer, don't we? Yes, we do. Whoa, what's going on here? I've never seen a graphics glitch like that in this game before. Okay. That hoist design looks like the one that Leonardo sketched up for the casting of the horse sculpture he was planning but never got around to. Well, at least he got use out of the hoist. Okay, he will comment. Wow, he actually tried to make the tank. Looks like he succeeded. I'd like to see the six burly guys who are going to make this thing move at any kind of speed, though. The guys inside would be well protected, but when you attack someone in a UFO, you can pretty much kiss the element of surprise goodbye. Looks like school's in. Always good to keep a bunch of students and apprentices handy to boost your standing and do all the grunt work for you. 
Like most Renaissance artists, da Vinci believed that designing and giving orders were gentlemen's work, and actually executing the piece was work for servants. That's why he rarely finished anything. Okay, okay, a little professional jealousy. Hmm, interesting. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? What exactly are you thinking? I mean, that looks very similar to this. But we just need to find this contraption here. He didn't really mean for you to ride that thing naked, did he? You could get something caught in there. Needs must and all that. If we've got to do it, we've got to do it. Is this Latin? Latin or Italian? I have no idea. Well, it doesn't look Italian. I'll have to find a translation for that because I am drawing a blank. Is this it? Was there any point to this? Okay, um... I guess that wasted 10 seconds. Now that is a very strange path to take. I mean, why not just walk down here instead of crisscrossing and cross? Oh, never mind. And why has it suddenly got louder? With all of these siege machines lying around, there's got to be something out here that'll help us get into that tower. Well, there's no question what kept Da Vinci the busiest. With his patron waging war against the Venetians, there must have been a lot of pressure on him to give the Duke a strategic advantage. Look, a primitive harvester. A harvester of human lives! <laughs> Sorry, too many episodes of Tales from the Crypt. Still, those chopped hay bales are <clears throat> making me a little queasy. Clever. Now, if they were inflatable, then we'd have some. Oh, you don't want to go over there. That's where Presto put all the cheap, low resin. Look, if they let us go everywhere, they never would have finished the game. Wow. I was, was not expecting that self awareness. Why is the music so loud in this area? It looks like Da Vinci was testing out some of his designs for siege defenses as well. Hmm, trying to outwit himself, I guess. I wonder who's winning. That's a large mortar. How are you supposed to load this thing? I've seen this in Da Vinci's sketchbooks. It's cleverly designed to hit the operator in the head with a barrage of rock. Okay. Da Vinci designed a series of these multi-barrel guns, predating the invention of the Gatling gun by close to 400 years.
Aha! Here we go. Okay, this must be what shoots the grappling hook for that climbing cycle contraption. I think we may be in luck. From here we've got a pretty good angle on the tower. Climb up there and see if you can hook the balcony. Yep, straddling this baby's got to really make you feel like a man. So we have to get up here. So let's let's climb on board. Well, there's a lever and two cranks. The lever's obviously firing the grappling hook. The cranks must control the direction and angle of aim. It looks like the direction of crank is only for making minor adjustments to aim, so we may have to get off and find a way to make it point in the general direction first. Okay, let's do that. We're obviously points in the wrong direction. Oh. Oh, I missed another comment. Sorry, Arthur. So one of these must be left, and one of these must be up and down. Left and right, sorry. Yes, left and right, up and down. Okay. Oh, bugger. I apologize for that. I think that is the correct position. Let's find out. There we go. Why are you standing around asking questions? Put the cycle under the rope and get us up there. I didn't ask any questions, but I will follow your order. Well, we're halfway there. We've got the rope leading up to the tower. Now all we need is the cycle. And we also need to remove our clothes. Okay. No, we don't. We didn't forget anything. Um, if that agent didn't know we were here before, they surely will now. What? Did you forget to set the emergency brake? Let's just hope we can get through that door. I'm sure we will. I have forgot nothing. Well, I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Hey, what was that flash of light? Do you know what it was, Arthur? He's not in here. That flash of light must have been him jumping out when he saw you on the balcony. We must have startled him. Leonardo's private study. I'd imagine very few people have even seen this. Hmm, Da Vinci's drum machine. Who'd have thought that Leonardo would have been the spiritual ancestor of the Pet Shop Boys? 
Actually, though, da Vinci was also an accomplished musician and composer and designed several musical instruments, such as the viola organista. Before we do any searching around, let's pick up some evidence. We can get to it right from here. And can you see where it is? It's not the drum. This looks like a very modern piece of, of equipment. Actually, is that the uh, TSA symbol there? It must be what the agent dropped. Of course it is, it's the evidence. Okay, we are almost done here. There isn't much left to do. This room is pretty much it for Chateau Galard. No, Da Vinci Studios. If the other agent's suit is the same as yours, then in order to drop that lens filter, he must have had it out of his temporal pocket, which means that he was using it. If that's the case, then maybe it can help you find whatever it is he changed. If the other agent's suit is the same as yours, then in order to drop that lens filter, he must have had it out of his temporal pocket, which means that he was using it. If that's the case, then maybe it can help you find whatever it is he changed. Haven't you just said that? I thought... Uh, I swear he's just repeated himself. Try looking around a bit while you've got that lens filter on. Yeah, we will get there. Cool, but where are the action figures to go with them? Probably back at your place, huh, Gage? <laughs> Sorry. Now, those aren't toys, so be careful. What do you want to know? It's a human heart. If you're that spellbound by it, take it with you. I'm sure Leonardo has spares. Mmm, preserves. Ah, human heart. Looks like we're in Hannibal Lecter's pantry. I ate his liver with a flying machine and a nice Chianti. <laughs> it's no wonder Leonardo was being so secretive. Human dissection was strictly forbidden by the church and might have gotten him arrested if anyone were to find out about it. Certainly the scandal wouldn't have put him in the Duke's favor. The elevator seems like it would have been a good idea for getting the cadavers up here on the quiet, though. Oh, okay, we can take it with, with us. In some ways, we're doing Leonardo a favor. Or not. Either way, we have a preserved heart. I will look at that momentarily. They look pretty normal, but who knows? There could be something hidden here that we just can't see. Oh! I wonder if it's automatically switched on. Oh no, you, okay, I understand now. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything on these, and... Nothing here is actually legible to us. I never know how to exit out of these screens. There we go. Again, this does not seem to be the actual documents that we need. It's still interesting to look at though. recognize these sketches? This is the Codex Atlanticus. It's his most famous manuscript covering some of his most prolific studies.
I was hoping to get back out of here so Arthur could comment. Gage, these are Da Vinci's notebooks. Or three of them anyway. Okay. I have no idea what, what any of this means. But anyway, we are done here. Let's return to Chichen Itza. Yes, every, everything here has reset, so we need to just do this once more. There we go. 